Hello, y'all, and welcome to Gemini. So, guys, I know you clicked on this because you're trying to find out why uh, there is no contact. And we're going to get into it, why there is no contact from your person. I am going to get my energy ready around here with protection because, you know, sometimes people don't want to hear the messages. And they just do all kind of crazy stuff. But I'm going to calm and clear all the energy here in the decks and uh, give you guys a, hopefully a message that will help you, that either helps you grow and move on or give you a clear understanding of what is going on. But let me tell you something. It's a collective because I don't know who I'm going to drag in this. And I'm going to be truthful. I'm going to tell you what I see. So this is really no contact truth. Whether it be on their side, if your energy started to come through and, and you seem to be the one that I need to be talking to, we're going to do it anyway. Because just as they're not contacting you, you're not contacting them. That's why you clicked on the no contact. So I'm going to first get into this person's energy. And we got a lot of ways we're going to check in on this person or this whatever the situation is why there is no contact. Now, we're going to use... Um, <coughs> I'm going to start off with the witch's tarot. That's the best way I can get into this energy and make sure it's being protected. All right. We're going to start off with that. We get some uh, love uncle messages in case somebody got something they want to say. We're going to even see if it's a financial situation. We're going to see what movement they have out there going on. And all these cards, uh, decks will be listed below, guys. And then we're going to get some cosmic insights. Okay, from the universe. All right, so let's just get into it, guys. I'm uh, look, this may not be for the week, so if you just actually really want to check out why there's no contact between you and this person and you're willing to accept whatever comes out, then you are welcome here. But I don't know who I'm gonna drag and what I'm gonna say, so let's just get into it. Spirit guides, give us the messages for. It. And I'm asking for the messages for the one who clicked on this. They're really just trying to get some insight on what's going on in this relationship, or why there's no contact, where there's no contact with their person, or they choose not to contact, or both. Because it's got to be both, right? So somebody walked away, whether they walked away from you, you walked away from them, or this is a situation where both people just realize it's just not going to work. Spirit, give me first of all the person's energy that this that the collective has. Okay, King of Pentacles. This person, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, this person usually is the family type. They're usually the one that uh, shows up is more stable. Um, but it is a king of pentacles. It is not the emperor. So, you know, this could be a person working on a stability and foundation. All right. So, so maybe they didn't kind they not, but death. All right. With the king of pentacle and death card, somebody, uh, I don't know. They putting an end to this. They putting an end to being the king of pentacles. To start something new. What is it that they, why is they changing their mode, spirit? Nine of Pentacles. This person said, I no longer want to take care of the people around me and be stable, a husband or wife. Now, just because the King of Pentacles, y'all take it. It could be the, it could be male or female energy, right? But, um, and it depends on what energy they are, they're actually in. But somebody is putting the end to being like the family type, to being single and doing their own thing. All right, so this is what this person energy is showing me. Like, I no longer want to support. So this person could have walked away from a whole family. This person could have walked away from a foundation in which they had um, that they felt, and I'm just hearing, they felt needed to come to an end. They either got stressed out, overburdened. Uh, the King of Pentacles, uh, you know, they're supposed to be abundant. They're supposed to be able to hold things down. And I feel like they felt they was falling off their throne. Rather, something became too financially abundant for them. I mean, too, too financially burdened for them. And they couldn't hold on to it anymore. This is what I'm hearing. And they just had to let everything go. And pretty much with the, with the King of Pentacles, that's just like, I got it right. Because the King of Pentacles has one pentacle. This is nine pentacles. So they was like, um... <laughs> 
I'm going to have to let a pinnacle go, which the Ten of Pentacles is the whole family and commitment. And that one pinnacle that they have with the nine would make it a 10, but they chose to release the one that they have and go to nine. So they went from a full-fledged family to uh, being single. So there is... Uh, this could have been a separation or a, a, I, I feel like a long-term commitment. This person has the, walked away from a long-term commitment. Now, if they walked away from a long-term commitment or they've told you that, that that's what they were going to do, they doing it. The, now, where they at right now is at the Nine of Pentacles, looking at what they have. Uh, and they didn't get, they didn't, you know, go away too bad, right? Going from the 10, only thing it looks like they had to detach for from is like in the 3D, a lot of responsibilities that they were ho holding. Now, if this was a marriage and they walked away, this marriage became very burdensome to them and they walked away from this marriage or a long-term commitment. And I'm hearing 10 years or more would have been the commitment. Um, it could have been, you know, it could have been less than that, right? Take it where it resonates, whatever the spirit guides gives you to look at this. But this person's energy right now is literally, so since it's a financial, it's not really financial, it's just their mindset, right? They, and I'm also, with the death card, that's Scorpio, you know, and Scorpio is like, somebody did something in this marriage, which was either cheating or lying or just something. And I'm just feeling like, the emotions, the water person had to release their emotions when it comes to this situation, or they had did that already. So if they've been in a committed relationship or a marriage for quite some time, they did that. They the marriage been over or the commitment been over, but they had to detach from it. And um, but I feel that something happened in marriage, like because Scorpio, you know, they can <laughs> Scorpio can set you up to sting you, right? So this was a sting. When you're in a, a full-fledged commitment and you walk away and go to the Nine of Pentacles, that is definitely leaving some behind, packing up, getting out of there. This is too much. I got to go. So there is no contact because perhaps this person is working on what it is that maybe they told you. I was going to leave this. I'm going to get this under control and I'll be your way or whatever. Now, whether they come in your way or not, they're definitely in the Nine of Pentacles. So let's just see. Um, let me see. What what message is this from the King of Pentacles? Let's get and and believe me, guys. This King of Pentacles just means that more in a masculine. This can be a female that is more in a masculine and has left a whole family fled. Whatever your preference is in men or women, you know, men or women, it, it doesn't matter. It just means somebody that was really helping to hold the, the household down, doing more. And this is also sometimes feeling like more than they share over the amount. Just because I'm a king of pentacles don't mean I got to do all, everything. This person say, will you leave me the, <laughs> will you leave me like the others? Okay. So I don't know, but this message from the king of pentacles is, will you leave me like the others? And maybe they ain't came towards you, uh, <sighs> Because maybe, you know, somebody they was with left them out in the cold. And it's, will you leave me like the other? This could definitely be you. Like, well, if they left a whole-fledged family and somebody told you that and left to be uh, out there and be single, you're, on, you're like, I stopped contacting them because, shoot, if you could leave a whole family and come towards me, will you do the same thing to me? You That might be what you're, what you're saying. Okay. Let's see. If I could go back in, if I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. Well, this person is saying, you know, if they can go back in time, they would handle this situation differently. I don't know who this is for. I have to let you go to find myself. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. I think this person let go all circumstances around them, like everything. So that Nine of Pentacles is that energy of focusing on themselves. I can't stop thinking about you. But in the meantime, they are thinking about you, okay? But they had to release a lot of things. They're working on some things right now. And, I, you know, I, I'm just going to tell you, I can't see it as... Selfish energy is realizing something has to change in your life. You're not happy. You need to 
either find yourself well first of all before you go jumping in another relationship with someone you need to clear out the old the old feelings uh the regrets the hurt the disappointments uh so that it's clear and open and you don't attract that same energy in for whatever disappointment this was but the king of pentacles to the death card to the nine of pentacles your person definitely has left something behind if this person was not married and they just had a lot of uh things on their plate uh, they're no longer one to carry all that on their plate anymore, right? Um, this person has decided, I do not want to carry all of that. I'm dropping it. And the Nine of Pentacles is, a, a, you know, I'm going to take what I got and, and just enjoy what it is that I have. But there's some burdens. They drop the pinnacle. And the pinnacle is usually the connection, okay? When you go from the Nine, to, you know, f from the King of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles is, is definitely a commitment. The household leader, they paid the most bills in the house. They probably was the most abundant. They had the best job. I'm also seeing this person could have a job for traveling. I'm also seeing this person might like the color blue. I'm also seeing that, you know, um, this may be uh, somebody that's kind of spiritual and was trying to do the right thing for all involved. Uh, I'm seeing a red dress. I'm seeing an orange dress. You know, that could be their colors. I'm seeing the colors yellow, which is this person just wants to be happy at this time. And if it takes them being single and and I'm not saying they single and free and mingling, they may be. I haven't seen anyone else. This is all independent energy that I've seen so far. But this person is definitely a way working on their self. Um, how do you feel about this situation? Let's see. Let's just see. How do you feel about this situation? Let's see. How do you feel about this situation? Three of Wands, you are waiting. Uh, what are you waiting for? Because, I mean, you could be waiting on this person. Maybe you feel they're worth waiting for. Um, and you're just trying to see what they're doing while you're waiting on them. Maybe they made you these promises or... If you was messing with someone that was in a connection, you know, now we got the six of pentacles. You are waiting for this relationship to balance out or this person to come back after being balanced out. Um, You got the three of pentacles here. Yep. And the four sword. So your energy, y'all could interchange this energy however you want. You might say that that energy is you and this energy is them. So first of all, you are waiting <laughs> Uh, for a situation to get equally balanced or, or weighing it out, right? Waiting for this person to perhaps come in and, you know, balance the situation out with you. And maybe they will be able to do it, you know. I, I see, you know, I don't know. Maybe this person will come in and do that. But your energy shows that you're waiting on this person and you're waiting for them to come in and balance, make the situation balance between the two of you. Um, you got the three of pentacles and the four of swords. Definitely was dealing with a third party energy, right? The three of pentacles, you want to collaborate and work with this person. But in the meantime, um, as you stand at the dock, you may just have a hope or dream that this person will come in and balance the situation out. But with the four of swords, you are definitely healing. You, you, you've been heartbroken over, the, over this. Something has happened that has definitely broke your heart. And, um, but you're healing, you're being thankful for being able to move, uh, forward and I feel mentally and emotionally. So this looks like this was definitely a third party. You may still want to work with this person and rather it, I feel like you like, whether it works out or not, I got to keep, uh, okay. We're going to see why you <clears throat> standing at this dock. Now you could be here because you gave up on this situation and you're not going to take anything less than something that's an equal give and take that you can work with um, after the rest period and the healing. So there's no contact because somebody's healing for sure. Somebody's working on a stability. I mean, you guys can take it either way. I think both of the energies are good. Uh, somebody realized they needed to heal from this situation or they just putting themselves first. They're relaxing. And sometimes these are the relationships that needs to happen this way, each person. So let's get some words. Let's get some messages from you. So we see. Wait, I need to clarify this uh, three, of, three of wands. Clarify the three of wands. Yeah. Oh, 
And then you got the high priestess. Okay, so, yeah. And you're still waiting on this to come in. And it's justice. It's going to be a towel moment. All right, so, and the judgment is made on that <laughs> from the universe. So, this is the right thing to do. So, clearly, I feel you're not, you're waiting for the time when you can feel like the hurt and the pain is over. Uh, you may even be waiting for connection. I mean, a call or a text from this person. This person got all the sword. But let, let me tell you something. <laughs> Whoever this person is, they've hurt you a couple of times, okay? And I told y'all, be careful when you come here asking for why there's no contact. Because I'm going to give it to you like I see it. This person has hurt you a couple of times. You got the ten of swords. They can't put no more swords. But look at you. Laying there, bleeding out to death. And waiting for a phone call or a text. That's why the spirit said you need to heal somewhere or another. You, 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 you I don't know. Maybe you into pain. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, but the universe is also saying you're waiting for a time where you're not waiting for a text or a message. And that's what the, this curl find at 301. Now, I understand you're in a place where you're like, but I just want contact. I just want this person to call me. I just want a text. But you're only hurting yourself or standing at that dock waiting because the universe is like, it's not coming in. All right. So you need to start letting those swords fall back so you can get yourself up for you completely just destroy yourself. Uh, I feel your energy is low. You can't really I move. Mean, how can you move with all them swords? But I feel like you may be just laying around, looking around, hoping and praying and wishing, right? Because you're standing there, you, 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 you're probably not doing anything. All right. And why are you looking at that phone? How about call somebody to contact somebody in your family and say, I love you to them or something like that. That might well help. Right. Call a family over. Hang out with them. Like, I'm going to give it to y'all. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Then you got the high priestess and the six of pentacles. Yo, look, your intuition already told you that this relationship was not uh, equal give and take. You seen the truth in it day one. I understand that you may be like, but I really like this person. It seemed like we were on the right track. First of all, was that your person or was it somebody else's person? See, you got to learn about when you jump in these relationships and they're already in relationships. Now, I ain't going to knock you if you didn't know this person was in a relationship and they lied to you. And they, when you found out later they was married on a committed relationship or living with something. And sometimes, you know, people do that and then you too far in with your emotions and, and, and things and stuff come out that's very deceptive. And that could have been why this Ten of Swords is here. Like they lied several times. They was, they was, they were, uh, let me see. They was hiding everything. They was, I mean, with swords, they mind was full of lies. They probably believe some of the lies too. Uh, that that dad was telling you, you know, but hurt people hurt people. And this person was in a relationship that hurt the heck out of them. I see them as a ten of swords too. Whatever relationship they were in that they walked away from, they've been lied, cheated, disappointed, stepped on, broke on. Okay. Uh, but this person, that's how they learn how to be a liar and a cheater, right? Because of what was all did to them. They probably used some of those lies on you. You know, some of those conniving uh, what, what would you phrases, uh, to, to get what it is that they want. Okay. It's a strong possibility, but this is all about learning and growing. Ain't nobody perfect out here. Okay. So, you know, you're going to do sometime what it takes to get what you want, but I feel that somewhere or another in this situation, your intuition told you that this situation was not balanced. Now, because you got hope that it was, maybe you thought this person would get themselves together. They told you they was going to leave their wife or their ex or whatever they was going to do, whatever third party this is, because the thing is three of pentacles by the eight of ones, this is quick movement. So um, this person is having a fast movement when it comes to communication with whatever this situation is, you having quick communication. Like this person came in and told you like, I'm in a committed relationship or I'm working on something else. Or, I mean, this come when you found out what was going on with this person, it, it I mean, it movement began in this situation. So you either continued after they told you that continued this third party situation with this person, even after you knew that they already was in a connection. Okay. But again, I feel that this person, 
Daphne, and, and with the, you know, with the eight of wands, I also see to, it may be you not contacting, right? They're on that motorcycle taking off. Like once they told you, listen, I got somebody else or I lied to you. I'm in some type of connection or whatever. You uh, took off and started uh, trying to get away from this connection. And it may be you that's not contacting or both of you not, okay? And definitely at this time, you, uh, you could be healing, right? Resting and healing. You could be resting and healing at this time. And that is what the spirit guides wants you to do, all right? That's justice. This is yes, you're doing the right thing, okay? So I don't see this as really deceptive. I see this as just being a life. Here's a tower moment. This tower moment could probably be this reading that you're getting right now, okay? But the tower is in, in reverse. So I feel whatever happened in this situation, it already happened. Everything that no longer serves you or this person has been thrown out this tower. And now uh, it's a matter of you and this person. We got judgment under the bottom. Divine timing. You might as well wait because the judgment has been made on this situation, whether this situation will come together or not. Okay. Uh, let's get some messages from you. Let me see. Let's get some messages. What do you have to say about this situation? It's, okay, is it over? Yeah, that's you want to know, is it over? I guess you could just be wanting to see, like, is it over? Should I still be, you know, at the dock or should I let something else come in my life? How could you ever forgive the mess I've made? Ugh. So somebody is saying whoever it is, it could be you. Is it over? Y'all got to take these messages how it resonates. And I know y'all will, right? Because it's whatever you feel your heart or your head tells you, whether it's right or wrong. And it's how could I, uh, how could you ever forgive the mess I made? This person may even feel that, you know, after all that they did to you, why are you still there? Like they didn't, they probably don't even think you're still waiting. Like you didn't detach and went on. But the Ten of Swords, this person is aware of what they did, how they hurt you in this relationship, okay? They know exactly what they did now, whether they're intentional. I told you, hurt people hurt people, right? And we all got lessons to learn in this world. Uh, and somebody just want to know, is this relationship over? Like, and I know me talking about, is it over to move into something else? Because clearly these two people uh, still have some work to do. And there's a judgment being made, and it's about healing. You go running, you're going to find that same energy. I was hurt by you. Yeah. And somebody's saying, like, I was hurt by you. That's why I'm not contacting you. I got to heal. And this is you. These words are coming from you. And maybe you like, I was hurt by this person. Maybe you start to realize them 10 swords hurt. True. You, something, you, after a while, you couldn't patch up no more, could you? And then somebody got here. I couldn't handle your love. I can't handle your love. Somebody was loving hard, and and it was the love that they were, they they uh, the expect. I'm feeling like expectations of love. What it is they truly wanted in a relationship, like somebody wanted commitment, love, maybe family or whatever, uh, or a certain way for love to show up. Had certain expectations of love, and they just like I couldn't handle it. it was too much. If you got out of a relationship and you ran right into a relationship, this is what happened. You feel all of a sudden you dropped out the frying pan into the pot. Is that it? It don't matter which one it is. <laughs> frying pot, the pot is deeper. So if that ain't it, I'm making up my own. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the point is I want to be different. Somebody want to be different. And I also feel they want the, the next relationship to be different. They don't want to feel like... You know, they're drowning in a relationship or drowning in their emotions and don't have control or they just accepting anything just because they want a commitment or they just want to be with someone. Um, and it's okay to want to build and have someone for stability and foundation, but it needs to be equal. And if it's not equal, give and take, uh, well, you know, some people say, you know, if, if one party stays at home and I'm going party because this is whatever your preference is when it comes to a, a mate. 
uh, one stays home and one work, then it's not equal give and take. Why are they staying home now? They just staying home doing absolutely nothing, uh, polishing their nails and uh, looking at TV or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. And it's not because of full-fledged family. And they just living off you then? Yeah, I don't consider that to be equal give and take. I mean, if this person is at home taking care of the, the family uh, and the things that, you know, needs to be did around the house, doing their part, then all right. But if uh, it's two people both get up and go to work every day and they're dealing with a family, equal give and take is you do you, I do me, right? Like there, we don't decipher that you're the one got to do this. You're the one got to cook. You're the one got to... No, it's whoever is in the mood to do whatever when they both work full jobs and out there taking care of the family committee. I, I don't even know why I went into that. So I think that was a struggle with that too. Maybe that's why this person left because this person, whoever they left or whatever, there was a struggle with an equal give and take in, in the relationship also. They was carrying most of the birds and maybe they felt this person should help out. Or this person felt they didn't need to help out. <laughs> okay. My life is a mess right now. And somebody's saying their life is a mess right now. The heart between us is intense. And the heart between you guys is intense. Okay. Uh, so that's the emotions. The, they they think about you. They wouldn't mind being. By, we got one more card right here. They wouldn't mind being with you or whatever, but somebody just telling you that life is a mess right now. And meaning life is a mess. They could be a mess financially. Let's take a look at that. But <laughs> like I'm all in these people's business, yours, theirs, whoever. But they also saying that uh, their emotions, the emotions between us is intense. And sometimes this, you could want somebody so bad you can't sleep, you can't eat. Uh, it, this emotional loss could be very intense for this person. This person may be independent, you know, and single at this time. And the emotional loss is if they're still with, just say this whole thing is putting an end and they haven't did it yet. They're, you know, maybe with the towel in reverse, maybe they still avoid and actually walking away from the situation they haven't yet did it. But the towel in reverse also represents trying to hold that towel up in the universe like I'm going to kick it down. Okay, so uh, this person, if they are still in this commitment and you know that they're not contacting you because they're seeing they're working through whatever, they may be stalling. But uh, I also see the universe coming through like, okay, time's up. Now, I'm not telling you when universe kicks this over, I'm not seeing it that this person going to come running to you because um, they still going to have some work to do. And do you want this broken, wounded warrior? I mean, just say, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because now you got to pay the healer. Now you got to be trying to show up at the five of swords, trying to win at all costs to help this person in this situation to get over to trust you or whatever situation they've been with this person that they don't have with you. And then what happens that becomes your biggest problem in the relationship because they didn't heal and get themselves together. Now, the universe does bring people together for healing for each other. You know your energy. If this is something that you've been through yourself, then it's a strong possibility the universe could be bringing you together so that you guys can heal together and grow together. All right? But you still got to work on your own independent healing because their healing the way they heal will not be the way you heal. We got the King of Pentacles here and the Knight of Pentacles. Now we got masculine and feminine here. Um, and they can be in both right right now. So the emotional part is the nine of pentacles walking away from the full fledged family or a commitment or something that was a, that was a completion to them at one time was happiness to them at one time. All right. So whatever that was, they didn't even have to have children. It could have just been them, your person, the mom, the dad uh job you know had a lot of responsibilities maybe they was taking care of parents or whatever it just got to be more than enough for them and they just seen and nine of pentacles is moving in direction where they just needed to get a hold to their own energy and see their worth and see that you know they have to focus on them or what they had and see what they may have not seen is that they could do this independently and on their own that they were doing it anyway something like that i don't know that's what i'm hearing for someone 
But yeah, some of them say their life is a mess right now. And I'm feeling like, you know, that's because they could be missing you and they want to come towards you. But it's the emotions and what you may want from this person could be very intense or uh, it was intense. Okay. Let's look at the financial status of this person. Then we're going to look at your financial status. <laughs> I'm going to put it out there. Y'all take it how it resonates with you, how you want to. Mm -mm. Okay, that's a lot. All right, that one to fell down, and I'm not taking all of those. We're gonna get one for the person and one for you. Your person's financial status, deadlines. All right, so I feel like your person, uh, um, whatever the nine of pentacles, their abundance, they they always got to meet deadlines, timelines. They got to get in get in a certain time. They got to return with. Like, um, um, I feel like, um, <clears throat> their job is, is their income is based on deadlines. That's how I know. I, I feel like whatever they do is based on deadlines. So what I'm thinking is they could be a traveler, right? Um, they could fly in and out. Their job is about projects and completing them in a timely manner, delivering, getting to a certain state or whatever, right? They could be, you know, uh, a driver. Um, they could also be, uh, what else, what else? They could be like the entrepreneur. They could be there, you know, but this person have deadlines and responsibilities, things that has to be met in a timely manner. All right. When it comes to their finances, your with your financial, you're in the, yours come up as growth. As I feel that, um, honestly, I feel like you just as independent as this. Uh, I I feel you are the nine of pentacles because you're checking in to find out uh, in regards to the other person's energy. So I feel your energy is single. If you now that's, I mean, y'all do how you want to do. If you are in a committed relationship and both of you was de uh, depicting on leaving somebody and coming together, I don't see that, but that could be the case. But I'm saying I see for you independent uh, and growth that whatever uh, job you on, you had growth in it. You may have started out from the bottom and worked your way up. Uh, yours is not as intense as the person that you were uh, dealing with. That's just how I feel. There was a lot of growth or there is a lot of growth in the job that you do. Um, and maybe that's why you guys was, um, you know, attracted to each other. It could have been at work. It could have been the fact that you guys definitely uh, seen growth in the relationship. Uh, and, this, and you know what? I'm also feeling this person may have seen you doing your own thing independently and they, they you look good doing it. I mean, and when you look good doing it, they decided that, you know, they wanted they independent. They got to know you, and that could be a lesson this person had to learn. You know, they got to know you. They see how you doing things, how you had growth, how you move forward, how you had changes. I just, I am now hearing that you are the positivity to this person making the changes. Now, you know you're not always guaranteed to get this person when these changes happen, right? Because... Ooh, my ear is ringing. The spirit said, you hit it. All right. So here's the message, guys. You were brought into this person life for a reason and a season. I know you don't want to hear it, but there it is. And it hit me so strong. This doesn't mean you guys can't come together, but it ain't your season now, honey. You have got to allow the universe to continue to either let this person work on what they got going on, release it, see their worth, become independent, heal. Because I feel your person, the tower has already hit their lives or they're trying to constantly keep that tower. Oh, my ears is ringing. They are trying to keep that tower from falling over because maybe they have not did everything that they needed to do to clear this out so they can have a fresh new start. Um, they haven't seen how something needs to be, I'm hearing uh, something needs to change in this situation. Mainly, it's, it's got to do with them. 
They're the one that makes the, the change. They're the one that's going to make the difference. They don't see it now. They either procrastinating or stalling making this change. And don't worry about it because it's, it's, this ain't, this, okay, for those, this is not going to be for everybody. Your energy, you got growth over here. Yes, you're disappointed in this situation. And you may still be uh, waiting on this person because you wanted answers or whatever, but you're healing. The Ten of Swords is definitely the end of the situation, all right? The High Priestess, you see the truth in this, right? Um, eventually, communication will come in. We are in retrograde. Y'all know people always come back after a while, but, you know... I mean, that's that's going to totally be up to you. I know some people just don't deal. Once once that bond is broken and they move on, they don't. But the spirit may be teaching you, you know, you a lesson. You probably like, I don't take no exes back. I keep going. I get it. Uh, and, and you're, you're going to have free will. That's what I hear. You're going to have free will. But people don't invoke their free will, free will, free will when someone shows up positive energy and you feel it and you're intuitively guided and you don't feel like you should be protecting yourself from this energy you're going to feel good you're going to see a difference you're going to look at them and know a difference uh anyways i don't even know why i did that somebody's ex could be coming back on one of these or maybe your side okay just don't be tempted this is what i'm hearing and it is not i don't think it's this person but somebody's ex is coming back and I heard that somebody X is coming back because they know that you in a position of of not having anyone. Um, and this this X that's coming back, they're very manipulative. This is what I heard. Um, they've been watching and checking for you for a while, anyways. And um, the fact that whatever situation, the fact that you're single, period. They either someone has told them that. Or they just know that you are from whatever I'm hearing. Creepers. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know what that is. What is creepers? Okay. Anyway, just just be aware of that energy. Don't fall. I'm I'm hearing don't don't fall for the illusion. That's an illusion. <sighs> You'll know who this person is when they come back, whoever it is. It may not be I don't know. Okay. But just somebody's energy is coming towards you. And it's not. They're coming towards you because they think you are vulnerable. That's what I'm hearing. Now, I don't know. Now, it could be this person coming towards you. No, they have not completed what they had to do. Because this tower is still in reverse. And they're trying to avoid it at all costs. And they may be trying to have their cake and eat it too. I don't know. Because deadlines is here too. Definitely means they may know time is running out with you. And if they don't show up, you will have been completely healed and left. And once you heal, I don't know about y'all, but once I heal a situation, or once I get that, through that hard time, you're usually on the block list. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just saying, like, why should we keep, I mean, who wants to do that all over again? I mean, I get it. I invokes my free will a lot. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not kidding. Cause you know, you, you, and it's not a bad thing when you invoke your free will. It's just you choosing you, like choosing not to go through the drama. If I'm going to do it, I might as well go with a new energy, right? If I'm going to do it, I don't want to do it with the energy that I done been through it with the, 10 times. Come on. Now, yeah, it's like something to me, the flags, the red flags are there. And 10, that, that's a flag. All right. So the universe tell me 10 swords, that's it. No more deception and lies. I've been through a lot. You should have thought about that and maybe saw it four. Okay. But anyway, that's just my own personal. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but anyway, uh, this person may even feel you, you you about to give up on this relationship. And so that may be their energy coming back. And they ain't finished doing what they have to do. They know what they have to do. Either get they self together. And, and the thing is, I'm also hearing this person may, with the Nine of Pentacles, they may be independently, financially independent. But I feel that, you heard what I said, Nine of Pentacles, that's their financial independence. It ain't about you. It's about them. Okay? It's about them of whatever it is, right, that they want to do. The King of Pentacles is like the nourishing, the family type or whatever it is. And it's about what they want to do. It's not 
That nine of pentacles is independent, nourishing and caring for situations around them that they want to invest in. That's not uh, <laughs> coming in nourishing you, okay? It's not the ten. It's not the ten of cups, okay? It's not the two of cups. It's not the lovers. Please remember what that is. And this person has a lot of earth in their chart. They could be a Capricorn. Just know that. Um, that it could be a... Uh, it could also be a Taurus or Virgo. I'm getting um, Virgo real strongly here. So just know that I do got Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces here very strong. And I also have Aquarius. All right, guys. So whew, that was a lot. I don't know if that helped anybody whatsoever. Um, but let's get... This is a long read. I didn't plan for... Woo, this is a lot... This is a lot. Okay, I'm going to take what I see. We got abundance and enlightenment and ancestry tree. Okay, so this is a closing message. Uh, we're, we're definitely, we got these pinnacles out here. We're definitely dealing with both. You got growth in your life. So you probably need to focus on work and continue to grow in the position that you're in at work or your financial state is growing. Uh, and... I feel like this hurt and pain has really put you into a situation where you're focusing on your career. And leaving this situation has really made you focus in your, the growth financially has really increased. And with justice here, that's what the universe wanted you to do. And not that you are hiding anything else. You're accepting the fact that you were waiting on this person, wanted an equal give and take in this situation. You wanted communication from this person. But... Uh, the universe is saying, keep on focusing on your healing and uh, moving forward. You need to come out of that uh, time of waiting. Hopefully, the three of ones was you just waiting for the time that this energy will be released from you. The thoughts of being up at night. Uh, is this person going to call me or text me waiting by the phone? Um, hopefully, you ain't stalking them on the internet or uh, emailing them and stuff like that. Like, pull your energy back and focus on you know, your healing at this time. We got abundance here, and I feel with you doing that, you become more abundant. Your person is independently working on it, so all the, if they're doing that. So, uh, I just heard this, oh, okay. So, the universe said these cards are for you. It's not for this person. Here's the closing message for you. There's a lot of room and opportunity for growth in a situation, and you must keep focusing on healing and moving forward. The universe has a situation at hand. I'm also hearing there will be no contact. This is what I'm hearing intuitively uh, because you're being guarded and protected. Enlightenment and lotus flower. There is something the universe wants you to do that maybe you have done already. Whatever you've done in this person, whatever uh, relationship you had or interaction with this person, I'm feeling enlightenment. You have enlightened this person, maybe even woke this person up to a path, maybe up to they self, maybe of what they've been doing and how they've been doing it and it ain't working. And they've got to change some things. It's like an enlightenment to a path. If this person wasn't spiritual or really connected in their emotions or something wasn't right or they weren't happy, I don't know. I just feel like you have you, this, the spirit guide sent you in this person's life for a reason. Okay. That you had, you had something you had to do here. All right. Now, and then we got tree ancestry. This could be some ancestral stuff, curses, you know, on the mission that was meant to happen. Like that's who you could be part of a healer, part of a realization, part of enlightening people. Um, and I know sometimes that ain't fair because you're like, dang, what happened? I was in today, tomorrow I'm not. But those when you get the best um, rewards from the universe because you, you were assigned something. And I'm just feeling like it may not be, it's either completed already or it may not be completed yet on this person's side. But I feel that you have done what the universe asked you to do, okay? So, let's get a positive yes and no. And I know you're saying at the same time. So, move. I'm never going to get contact. Um, I'm going to go with a... Uh, I'm going to go with a positive or negative. Will there be any contact between you and this person? 
eventually. So we got the six of wands. So keep doing what it is that you're doing. The six of wands is a victory. Okay, so there will be a victory. How it's going to play out, the universe just said, yes, there'll be contact, but there may not be the contact that you think. But there will be a victory in this situation. There will be movement, acknowledgement. And I even feel that in time, someone will come back and acknowledge what you brought to the relationship and appreciate you for it and see you for what it is that you brought to the relationship, whatever that may have been. This is not going to resonate with all of you guys. So... Uh, yeah, I wish you all the best with this situation. I don't even know if it helped you get any type of clarity at all. Love and light. Bye.